Can you guys see everything? Underwear? Oh, we can see everything. Hold okay, on, what yeah. color? What color? That's so cute. They're green. They're green and white. I thought you were wearing black. I thought I was too. Who could never know? Is this Pellegrino? San Pellegrino for a taste of Italy. Have you guys been to Italy? Yeah, we've, we've been up and down the Amalfi Coast like several Did times. Did you? Yeah, why not? Guys, we have two options. After party in the hills or we go to Amalfi Coast. Amalfi Coast. In Italy. Oh, he's a newbie. He never Underwear is optional. I don't have work tomorrow, so... We can go to Italy, let's do it. Hello, my aspiring Casanovas. I'm out here on this chilly evening because I want to tackle a subject that is perpetually debated in the pickup community. And that is, should you go in direct or indirect? Now, there are a lot of people that take very extreme positions on the topic. So I want to break it down for you and provide you with some kind of an intuitive guide. So this is part one of a three-part manifesto where we go deep to discuss the differences between direct and indirect gain. Now in part one, we're going to be looking at the general definitions and practical uses of a direct versus an indirect approach. In part two, we're gonna discuss the importance of having what we call a direct vibe. And in part three, we're gonna examine some of the gray areas and exceptions of using a direct versus an indirect approach in the classic sense. So let's get into part one. So first I wanna clarify what I mean when I say direct versus indirect. Now this refers to the way you in which you initiate a conversation or an interaction with a woman, okay? To go direct means to immediately verbalize your intentions, okay, as soon as you initiate the conversation. Whereas to go indirect means to initiate the conversation without immediately announcing your intentions, okay? So keeping them vague. So direct looks something like this. Excuse me, girl who looks like a graffiti artist. I noticed you as I was coming out of the bakery and you looked absolutely adorable in your pink shoes. So I had to just come by and say hi and hit on you. Uh, or something like, damn, you look sexy as fuck in that leather jacket. Real leather, I hope. Excuse me. Girl with uh, blonde hair. <laughs> That's a good descriptor, I guess. I yeah. Like yeah. Blonde, blondish at least. Yeah. Um, I just saw you as I was crossing the street, and you looked adorable oh. with your blonde hair and white shirt. Thank you. So I decided to risk everything. <laughs> and uh, Stop it. well, I was already crossing to be fair. Okay. But okay. sure, yeah. It's not as fun. Run through traffic. There you go. That's put my life on the line. Definitely. Say hello. Hi. And hit on you very blatantly here. Very blatantly. On Blur Street. Excuse me, girl <laughs> in the blue shirt. Yes. I'm sober okay. and semi-employed. Uh-huh. And you looked adorable, so I had to Thanks. run over. Oh. Say hi. High and five. recruit you no. for a revolution. No. Wait, hold what? on. Why wouldn't we start a revolution together? Because I have places to be. Give me a rational reason. Conversely, indirect looks something like this. Suppose you're at a bar and you just bought a mojito. Okay, you can approach a girl with your mojito and say, I just got this mojito and they didn't use fresh mint. I'm pretty, pretty upset. Or let's say the girl is wearing black and you come up and say, how dare you wear black tonight? Okay, you know it was my night to shine. Look at you stealing the fucking spotlight. Excuse me, girl with the pink. Just the one pink, what the hell? Whoa, the pink and the black. Who told you you could wear black? I thought it was my night to wear black. My mom said I could wear black. Your mom what? My mom said I could wear black. Your mom should know better. My mom knows best. Mama knows best. And you want to Wait, are you Czech or Serbian? No. I don't know. Excuse me. Do you know where my Pepsi went? 
I literally lost my Pepsi. You know how bad. Drunk? No, I'm not drunk. No, I said in your trunk. Oh, I'm not that drunk. No. No, I said in your trunk. Oh, you I I mean I had Pepsi somewhere in the car. Do you know how sad I feel? You know what's so sad? You broke in your car, took that Pepsi. You, wait, you stole it. You stole it. Hold on, two seconds. What's your name? Yeah, hold on. Hello. Are you are you on the phone with yeah. your grandma? Um, you go right on Adelaide. Is that your grandma? Your no, it's not my grandma. She's <laughs> not <your> up. <laughs> what's your name? Good name. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Did you steal my Pepsi? The best forms of indirect openers or conversation starters are usually situational, meaning that they play off the environment. But they can also be completely random. For example, you can approach a girl like this and say, excuse me, on a scale from one to 10, how zen do you think I feel right now? Or, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Come here, babe, I've, I've been so worried and just give her a hug. Or, you know who you look like? Like a hybrid between Princess Diana and a young Jodie Foster. Excuse me, serious question. I was just discussing with my buddy. Is the banana a fruit or a vegetable? It's a fruit. Is it though? It's a yeah, vegetable. fruit, actually. All right, well. I put in my guacamole because it like goes, it blends. Why? Because he was trying to convince me that it's a fruit, but I thought it was a vegetable. Banana, is it tomato, tomato, tomato. Or tomato or vegetable? Tomato is a fruit. That's banana, fun. I heard in South America they consider it a vegetable. I don't know. No, it, it, it just is a, it's a fruit. So how should you go about it? When is it appropriate to go in and immediately state your intentions to go direct? And when is it better to keep your intentions vague and go indirect? Well, that largely depends on the context of the specific situation, your level of social acuity, and to an extent, personal preference, okay? So for example, if you are in a setting or a situation where you are expected to socialize or people are expected to socialize where that's the norm, then it might come off as unnatural or unnecessary to initiate a conversation by immediately stating your intentions. Okay, so what are some examples where indirect might be more fitting? Classic night game environments like bars and clubs, party day game environments like music festivals or block parties, or social circle game like dinner parties, uh, work function, a school event or the classroom. In these kind of situations, coming up and just announcing your intentions can come off as a little try hard. I mean, imagine you're at a dinner party or at a ve vegan meet and greet and you immediately come up to a girl and say, hi, I thought you were really sexy. I wanted to come talk to you. That can put a lot of pressure on the person, okay? Excuse me. Do you know what I noticed about you? What? Oh my God, is something embarrassing? Yep. No, you look, you look like a British spy novelist. Hi! Yes! Is your name Agatha? No, not at all. What's your name? The next, the next best thing. I'm Vadim, nice to meet you. What is it? Vadim. Vadim. Enchanté. If, however, you're engaging a stranger in a situation that is not specifically meant for socializing and they seem busy or in a rush, then it's wise to immediately tell them why you're there to talk to them. Otherwise, you're gonna come off as abnormal. See, the first thing that crosses people's mind in these situations is what do you want, all right? What are you trying to get out of this interaction? Direct, and that's why direct is more suitable for situations when not stating your intentions can put you at a disadvantage can make you come off as creepy, weird, confuse the girl, you know, make her think that you have some hidden agenda. So, and it might not even give you enough time to convey your intent with your vibe because the girl's just gonna scurry away. So, situations where this is more suitable are classic day game environments like the street, the coffee shop, the restaurant, the bookstore, the mall, um, et cetera. By the way, when I say go direct, I mean do it in a light, charming way, 
you know, use a little bit of humor. Do it in a way that comes off as casual, you know, that assumes familiarity, okay? Don't do it in a way that comes off as overly intense or rapey, all right? Don't go up to the girl and say, excuse me, I saw you from over there and you looked really hot, so I had to come say hi to you. Vadim, nice to meet you, all right? You're gonna creep the girl out, okay? But don't make it overly friendly or goofy either, okay? The girl needs to feel your masculine presence. She needs to take you seriously. And don't rush through it either, okay? Let the statement of intent sink in, okay? So for example, excuse me, girl in the yellow rain boots. And you can look down on her rain boots as you say this, all right? Also, make sure that you have the girl's attention when you say this. A lot of guys will rush into what they're about to say before the girl's even listening to them, all right? This is key, before she's even had a chance to take her earphones out, okay? So again, Excuse me, girl in the yellow rain boots. Um, I was about to pop into the 7-Eleven to get some coconut water, and I noticed you looking all adorable with your latte and your giant umbrella. So I had to come over and say hi and hit on you here in the parking lot. I know, fucking romantic, right? Excuse me, girl with the coffee and red lipstick. <laughs> Hi, I How just saw you? you as I was crossing the street. Okay. And you looked absolutely normal. So I had to risk everything and say hello <laughs> on my way to the subway. Okay. I figured, you know what, it's a pretty good use of my time. Yeah, I've got my coconut good. water, I'm feeling fucking confident as fuck. Like that stuff? Shit, yeah. Sorry. That's why my game's 10 out of 10. I've been drinking a lot of this stuff. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm walking on water. Yeah. What's your name? Anyway, the nuances of attractive communication are a topic for another video, but I just want you to keep some of these quick pointers in mind. So to summarize part one, if you're using a direct approach, it means you're verbalizing your intent at the beginning of an interaction. And that's generally more appropriate when you're engaging a stranger in a setting that is not specifically meant for socializing. On the other hand, to use an indirect approach means to initiate the interaction without immediately announcing your intentions. And that's generally more appropriate in situations or settings where people are expected to socialize. Now, in part two, we're going to be discussing the importance of having a direct vibe. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to check out part two and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because we're going to be putting out a lot more content like this. Thanks. And until next time.